Now let me show you how you can apply the bokeh effect to this image. Now let me show you how you can apply the bokeh effect to this image. So we'll press Ctrl J Command J to have a duplicate copy of this and then we'll select the lasso tool and create a selection around her. That's going to be a rough selection, don't worry. And then we'll press Shift and Backspace. That would open up the fill dialog and from this drop down menu we have to select the content aware. Leave everything by default and thereafter press OK. So what it is going to basically do, it's going to try to fill it, the selection according to the background. So we'll get some kind of a simple plain background without the model. So you can see now we have got it. This is not the great effect, but don't worry, not the great result, but we require only this one and unlock this background layer and drag this up. So we'll call it model. And the underlying layer is the background all right so we'll work on the background so we'll turn off the model or just leave it as it is and then we'll right click and select the convert to smart object and then we'll go to the filter other and we'll choose the maximum and from this radius by default as you can see you will get these squares it's loading up because this is heavy file and I'm recording at the same time as well. Oops. I think we need to turn off the model and then filter other and choose the maximum. And when you will open by default, it's going to give you the square bokeh, this kind of a bokeh. If you want to make it round, just select the roundness and then you can adjust this radius depending on how much bokeh you want. If you want the less bokeh, keep the radius less but if you want more, just increase the radius and if you want even larger bokeh, just increase it even further. So you can see you can go even crazy like this but I will keep it in the middle, something like this, that's fine and we'll press OK. And these bokehs are little sharper, so we'll apply Gaussian Blur. So we'll go to the filter, blur and we'll choose the Gaussian Blur to something like this and we'll press OK. Alright, so now we have got our background with the bokeh and now we need to place the model over here. So we'll turn on the model layer on and then we'll make a selection of it. So using the quick selection, you can make the selection. So it's very easy, all you have to do just paint it over the area and press ALT or OPTION. So let me just quickly do this, just a minute, let me show you, paint it and if you just spill the selection, press ALT and paint it back, so that's going to remove it from those areas. and alt and remove it from this area all right thereafter just go to select and mask option and let me adjust all of these settings and thereafter you need to select a new layer with layer mask so let me just quickly do this and press ok so now we have got the model over here against the background and if you want you can refine the selection even further so use the brush tool soft as brush with zero harness and with the black color paint over the area which you don't want let's make it 100 so over here there is a problem so i'm going to fix that I'm using the graphic pen tablet and you can 
use mouse and if you want to check out some of the affordable recommended graphic tablets the links are in the description all right so now if you want to color grade it you can do that as well and now let's put this background on the top of her so we'll press ctrl j command j to have a duplicate of this bokeh background and we'll drag it on the top of our layers and we'll right click and select the convert to smart object so that's how we will remove that filter which we have applied earlier and now we'll go to the filter blur and let's go for the field blur and increase the bokeh to something like this and if you want to adjust the light bokeh you can do that as well bokeh color now let's increase the blur a little bit more something like this and press ok and now we have got this and then we will change this layer plan mode to screen ok and we can lower down its opacity if we want to and then we'll create a layer mask and we'll remove it from certain areas so that it looks like that we have taken this image through the glasses or through the window so with the softest brush black color with 50% opacity we're going to paint it over certain areas like on her over here so you can see after we have done all this it looks like this and now we'll color grade this image so for that purpose we'll create a stamp copy of all of this or you can simply just use one of my action which you can download absolutely free from the link in the description section below so I'll go for let's say moody orange tone let's see how it looks so I'll select this action and select the play and boom so we have got this result immediately and if you want to work on this so you can just do that as well so let me just adjust the skin tone I don't like the skin tone because this effect gives you the orange tone so that's how you get it but for this image I'll change its skin tone so I'll go to adjustment and uh, I will select the selective colors adjustments and first we'll select the red and change the red so I want red in the image so something like this and magenta a little bit magenta I think that would be fine something like this and yellow yes bring down the yellow because you, I don't want that much of yellow I want it to look little bit natural and let's adjust the blackness of red whether you want it darker or lighter I think I'll go for something like this and then we'll change to the yellow color and let's adjust it so we'll lower down the yellow and highlights magenta and then yellow and blacks something like this and let's go for the cyan so let's add more cyan and magenta let's try okay let's bring it down yellow black and then let's change it to the blue and let's adjust the blue all right so now we have got this result and now we'll create a vignette effect around her so we'll go on the bottom and select the gradient and we'll select this black to transparent gradient if it is not available click on this cog wheel and select the neutral density and select the append that way all of these would be available over here 
So on one side we have the black and on one side it's transparent and we'll press OK and then we'll change the style to the radial and select the inverse, move the circle on the model's face and then we'll scale it up something like this we'll press ok and then we'll select the gradient fill mask and with the black color and the soft as brush we'll paint over the model so that it doesn't affect her my it creates an amazing bokeh or amazing vignette effect so that the entire focus remains on the model and you can remove it a little bit from the light areas all right so you can see this is before and this is after we have applied the vignette effect now we'll finally sharpen this mesh so we'll press ctrl alt shift e or command option shift e and then we'll change this layer blend mode to linear light oops linear light and we'll get this weird result then go to the filter other and choose the high pass and we'll choose the radius of 1.2 and we'll press ok and while holding alt or option we'll click on the mask icon that would completely hide the sharpen layer or hide this effect and then with the soft edge brush we are going to paint on the areas where we want this sharpening to be applied so let me zoom in a little bit make sure the foreground color is the white and the opacity is 50 percent and then paint on the let's say eyes lips and on the hairs little bit so that those become sharp and on the model's dress a little bit on the glass and you can see this is before sharpening and this is after the sharpening and after press ctrl 0 to fit it in the view and go full screen by pressing f so this is our final result and let me show you where we started and there is a problem over here you can see i didn't fix this but you can just fix that later on so let me just try to fix it create a new layer zoom in and make a rough selection of this area with the lasso tool press L and just make a rough selection around this something like this maybe and uh, choose the brush tool and pick the color from here and paint over this with the soft as brush press ctrl 0 and as you can see this is looking little weird but don't worry we need to fix this so we'll press 1 or 2 on our keyboard and pick the sample from this area and paint over here so that it sorts of mixes with these hard edges so we'll keep on picking the color and keep on painting so that it doesn't look ugly and you can see now this one is looking much better you can't recognize it so this was before and this is after so let me select all the editing and show you full screen so this is after and this was before before and after so thank you so much I hope you liked today's video if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not followed me on Instagram please do follow me my profile on Instagram is at Harshwardhan Art and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you.